Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be covering a special news story on an application called Totok. Now, not to be confused with the application TikTok, uh, Totok is a application used for messaging as well as uh, HD video and voice calls, similar to like WhatsApp or uh, Skype or any one of those. Now, millions of users currently use this app or were using it anyway for several months until the Apple and Google stores removed it from their stores. The the reason it got so popular though um, so quickly is because in the UAE uh, video calling things like FaceTime and WhatsApp and all of that sort of stuff is banned. So this was the first application that was allowed to use this sort of uh, technology I guess although it might be a little bit old tech now. Um, they were actually allowed to use it there so it, it got pretty popular pretty quick mainly because of that reason. So on to the news story. I received a story um, from an unknown person which has never happened before uh, where basically they were going to pay me to release a story and um, I tried to do a background check on this particular person I couldn't find out anything about them and I had actually never heard of Totok until this person had contacted me and asked me to do a news story um, about the application so they, they had a pre-written sort of script that they wanted me to follow and if you can put one and one together here, you can sort of figure out uh, what this story is going to turn out to be like. But anyway, so I've, I've got the news story here on my phone, um, which I'll read to you and, um, and then I'll sort of give my opinions at the end. So here we go. On December 27th, 2019, the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority or TRA for short, released a statement affirming that it is aware of the recent allegations and concerns about the privacy of users on accredited telecommunications applications in the United Arab Emirates or UAE, in particular TOTOC application. The authority stressed that UAE telecommunications regulations encompass strong information security laws to prohibit any kind of data breach and unlawful interception, adding that the TRA imposes strict standards to protect its users' privacy, which are in compliance with international standards. So as you can tell so far, they're taking a very defensive tone in this article. Totok, very similar in its concept to other apps such as WhatsApp and Viber, has achieved great success within a few months of its launch bringing the number of users to over 50 million subscribers, massive user base there, competing with other global applications. A powerful new market platform that affects the numbers of main platforms. I don't know what that means. On Monday, Totok released a statement on its official website pointing out that to date over 30,000 positive user reviews have been shared on the Apple and Google stores adding that this represents an unmistakable and consistent sign of trust and appreciation by users who have chosen to use it. The UAE-based company pointed out on December 23rd that the app is equipped with high security standards such as AES-256, TLS, SSL, RSA and SHA-256. Is that a high security standard? I don't think so to diligently protect user data in compliance with the local and international legal requirements. To safeguard users at all times, the TRA reaffirmed in its statement that standards are strictly implemented across all certified te telecommunication applications, including TOTOC in the UAE. The TRA reaffirms that all certified telecommunications applications in the UAE are in compliance with these standards and apply them. The TRA ensures that compliance of all players and is working closely with international organizations to protect user privacy. In the recent days, Totok explained that the app is temporarily unavailable in Apple and Google stores due to a technical problem. That's not true. Specifying that the company is working to solve it while already registered users can continue to use the service without interruption. 
The app is still available on digital stores for Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi and Oppo. All other Android users can install the Totok app from the official website as a temporary solution. The TRA statement completely deny the defamatory campaign suffered by the company in recent period. In the context of what appears to be a trade war. Okay, interesting. Some articles that are appeared in the national international press. What? Who wrote this? Said that the messaging application has been used by UAE's government as a spy tool. But a technical analysis by a former NSA employee concluded before TRA's statement that Totox simply does what it claims to do and really nothing more. No exploits, no backdoors, and no malware. I'm calling bullshit straight up. <laughs> this is sort of, I read to this point and I was like, you gotta be shitting me. Ironically, this technical analysis was actually requested by the same people who started the defamation of the app. It must also be said that UAE has become a hub for main startups and blah blah. It basically goes on to say about how wonderful the UAE is and that it's a great place to start a business. Now, onto the juicy bit of the story, which is that this is all complete bullshit. If you read through anything on Google, go and read any article on Totok and have a look that that's not what the TRA said. They actually said that they found it to be suspicious for having uh, malware on it that was essentially spying on its users. Now that's a pretty big deal. I don't know if, um, like for example, think if uh, Facebook released uh, information or like someone found out that Facebook was spying uh, on all of its users and the uh, American government had access to all of that information at a whim. Um, which they I, they kind of do in a way, but it's a little bit more regulated than that. What their concern is, is that these people who are using this Totok application, um, all of their information, contacts, uh, access to their photos, uh, camera, voice, all the usual shit, is uh, in the hands of the UAE government. Now that's their concern. Um, my concern is why would someone send me an article that is potentially not true to try and spread fake news or uh, I'm not sure. So basically they were willing to pay me 600 US dollars to release this article, which for a very small channel like mine is uh, an interesting amount of money to pay someone to, um, to spread fake news about. So I don't know if um, whoever contacted me works for Totok and maybe they just want um, like a security focused news article about how great the article is, about how great the app is rather, um, and how wonderful UAE is. But I'm gonna be doing fact checks on absolutely every article that ever gets sent to me because I'm not into spreading fake news at all. Even if I was paid to do it, it <laughs> it's only gonna bite me in the ass later. So whoever this, uh, this person is who contacted me, thank you for the great article. Thanks for a good idea for a video on how easily people can believe anything that is written out there. Um, I'm sure that the application will be released again in the app stores in the next coming days or maybe it already has since I recorded this video. But um, yeah, I found it to be quite interesting that uh, someone would be willing to pay for someone like me to make a news story about an application that is either under investigation for having spyware on it or malware or whatever. And um, yeah, why? Like, what's the point? I don't quite get it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Totok application. Um, if you think it's good or bad or if it's, if it's malware or what do you think about um, the person who contacted me? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always keen to have a chat with you guys. Um, as always, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.